Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and how about Japan? Yeah, very good. Like everything? How about food? Yeah. Okay. So today, uh, yeah, the topic is quite complicated. You know, climate change and sustainability of renewable energies. It needs a lot of explanations. It's, uh, we need uh, to cover a wide spectrum of many things politics, economics, peace and justice, and um, in the engineering interactions, electrical engineers, mechanical, and uh, material scientists, and chemical engineers, they have to work together, all these people, to solve these challenges, climatic change, and to make the energy, renewable energy more sustainable. So it's not the individual task to do by one person. It is our <coughs> collective responsibility to do many things. So first I would like to introduce myself. Uh, this is my name, and you can call me Admiral or Khan. It's your choice. It's no problem. I'm working in the weekend, Sydney, uh, Japanese uh, National Institute for Material Science and, uh, uh, and Advanced uh, Chemical engineering, medicine, LED, and uh, some part of solar cell also, and uh, environmental science thing, research which is uh, uh, related to the environmental science also here, and um, computers, supercomputers. We have very good supercomputer uh, which is made by Lincoln. So we have the I think I don't I don't know but some, somewhere in the world leading it. Uh, I will show you. Okay, uh, so we have these two 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 cameras. What is this uh, spring eight system? It's called uh, synchrotron radiation uh, facility at Rikin, which uh, primarily we can study material qualities, different materials, the electrical properties, uh, electrons, atoms, how they they interact. In. So here we accelerate uh, uh, the the uh, subatomic particle like neutrons others with high speed and, and having high energy and small wavelength to see the small size of the matter. So in this facility is one of the leading facilities in Japan, Spring Gate. And here is, this is a just uh, with the K computers at Kobe campus, Kobe is uh, Kansai area of Japan. So Riken has many branches in Japan. So, uh, so we have the supercomputers facility here. And, um, okay, so today's topic is very interesting. So, how my institute slogan is very similar to what the people come here. So, I will just repeat. So, the global scale problem, the population explosion, climatic change, the depletion of the natural resources, and the emergence and re emergence of infectious disease. So, we have many, many diseases. Threaten the very existence of humankind, nations, societies, and all sector of human endure. We must join together to find creative solutions of high public good. So we have to work. This is the slogan of my institute. So this is the one of the elements which is discovered by our scientist, Nihonian. So this, this is just to show you if you Google, you can find it. This is the new element, Nihonia. Okay, so what I'm doing here now, before I will introduce my solar cell background later, before moving to this institute, I work in this small institute here, and also Scuba University. I show the logo on the first page. Uh, and I work on solar cell. But here I'm working on LED, light emitting diode. I will explain briefly uh, the, uh, what, why the LED is important in your life. One LED traffic light saves $1,200 electricity per year. This is a very good thing. If you use the one LED light, traffic light. Traffic light. So you can, if you use the conventional light, which we're using, and if you move, it's very good. And the lightning of one room with LED light can reduce CO2 emission by 1 billion tons per year. This is one of the another is, uh, good features. And the uh, UV LED market only $20 million in 2008. 
and it grew to 90 million in 2014. Just see the difference from 20 to 90. It could possibly reach to 500, uh, uh, 520 million in 2019. So it's going to very fast. So here is the application of LEDs, which is uh, the LED has the wavelength. Each each LED is emitting, uh, emitting light, which has specific wavelength. So we have we can uh, we can uh, classify UVC is from 240 to 280 nanometer and UVB from 280 or 290 <coughs> to 315 or 20 this area there and this is the uh, UVA so I will not talk about this but it has many applications purification of water and um, especially the aerospace uh, application like Boeing and Airbus they want to clean inside by UV this area we see but uh, our aim in the, the RECAN is uh, primarily focusing on some skin problems. An onset rate of the atopic dermatitis is more than 10% in Europe, America, and 2 to 3% in Japan. In every hour, more than 100 children die from waterborne bacteria. This is the uh, World Health Organization. So we can clean water in this part, and we can treat UVB, UVC for the cleaning of water and other thing, and UVB for the human like the skin problem. So you can see the picture here. Okay. I don't have much time. This is my recent result. I don't want to go in detail what we are doing. So this is basically the structure we are doing, we are going to make. Uh, this is a sapphire substrate, it's like glass. And we, we use uh, aluminum and nitrogen, nitride, in some machine, just mixing with this chemical. And then make uh, a P-type, N-type, argon, aluminum, gallium, nitrogen together. This is another material. Anyway, so we, we're making this structure complete. At the top, we make a P-type. P-type means having holes, a lot of holes. N-type having a lot of electrons. Very simple, to be very simple. And we make this device, and this So this is the testing, the light is emitting here. You can see. But unfortunately, the power is not enough, which I know. The power is very small, 0.1 milliwatt. This is very, very small, really. We need high power for our target. Another problem is, we need this, the wavelength, is a 340 nanometer peak. We need to move to 320 for the desired medical applications. So, so now we are struggling to to move to this area and make it. So this really and uh, of course America is working hard in this area. In Germany, in Japan, these are the three countries focusing on this area. So okay. So sorry, this is the was my, my introduction. This is a background. I will just briefly say history of the earth, forest, plants, and human life, and then uh, briefly world tour in picture. What's the problem? The climatic change, global warming, uh, deforestation, population explosion, many things we have to talk about briefly. And nuclear disaster also accidents. The one student asked, so I will briefly talk about that. Um, and the climatic change is measurement by authentic sources like NASA. It's a few slides. They, they really uh, con confirm and they prove that the uh, climatic change is taking place. And then renewable energy resources and our social responsibilities to make sustainable, to make it more sustainable. It's not a scientist's job, not only students' job. It is the job of the politicians, judges, economists, energy planners, managers, and uh, government, non-government, everybody, we have to work together. Um, okay, I, 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 I wrote this thing for your information. Our research group contribution to the renewable energy, like solar cell. In the past, I worked on solar cell, and we, we made some solar cell I will share with you, which is uh, uh, primarily made on glass. And we aim to just paint on the building glasses. 
and uh, we got very good efficiency, but still we have engineering problems um, to make it uh, the final progress. So I will I will share with you. And at the end of uh, summary, uh, this part I would like to I think we skip, and I will send the slide to you. Is a lot of text just for the literature review how the world uh, population changes. So we don't have much time. This is the most important slide. Few important questions come in our minds regarding the environmental problems, climatic changes, growing energy demands, sustainable, green or renewable energy, food and water shortage, justice is peace across the world. Why the United Nations realized about the urgent need of 17 uh, sustainable goals and uh, Millennium Development Goals? Why big no to carbon based energy resources? Fossil. Why big no? Why we, they, the United Nations, uh, several years ago, they hesitated to, to accept this fact. But now they accept it. That, yeah, this is, we have to say the big no. And this is very good news for me. Why we need to shift urgently towards sustainable renewable energy resources? These are the questions that we need to find the answer to in a more smart and realistic way based on green science. Let's try to find it today, just briefly. Okay, so first I would uh, show you the world tour, like what kind of problem we have. You can see this is the temperature of the globe. This picture probably is taken by NASA. So this part shows very high temperature is uh, anomaly in this part. Probably it's uh, India and also some part of China and it's uh, like very abnormal. So probably some, some industrial uh, carbon emission or CO2 and some other thing is happening which influence the, the glacier and melting of this thing and cause many problems. So uh, this is the another few slides. Drought and forest fire in uh, Sumatra, March 2014 and this is the typhoon and it was the most intense storm. This is some Brazilian, uh, in Brazil there was uh, some drought in 2014. So these are the things we can see uh, And this uh, last year, the Melissa and the, the Green Program, we, I was also part of that program and, and I'm very thankful to Melissa for her nice management and everything. So I just show this slide. This picture somehow is uh, the front wheel, front wheel of the, the glacier in the uh, Reykjavik, Iceland. And this is the from the top, toward the front now, from the top. So this part, several years ago, if you see this height, it was covered completely with ice. But uh, last year when we visit, there is no ice. It is melted. And uh, this is also the, we, we pass this two channel, and this tunnel is going to be disappear soon. So these are the signature or the indicate indications of the global warming. And uh, there's many things, so we don't have much time. This is in Australia, fire in the forest. Uh, and this is the Queen, Queenland floods in January 2013. And you see California has some drought, right? People who live from California. And uh, this is the Stephen Creek Reservoir. So, and Bosnia in the 2014 flood, and also this is the Serbia. So now, indicator of global warming, uh, we have to see. You know, uh, recently we can see some abnormal weather conditions. The cycle of the rain in the typhoon is just very highly non-linear or chaotic, we, we don't know and when it comes. And uh, rising sea level and uh, many marine life has been influenced, badly influenced by these weather changes and, uh, and, uh, and more droughts and wild fires arising. So many things you can see, there's many indicators. Uh, here I would, one important point for me, the Three lines 
shifting forward and upward. So the tree is moving to the mountain now. Because the, the temperature which was 10 years ago was suitable for the trees. Now that ground low, low level temperature is not enough and they try to move to the outer, to the mountain. So this is a, this is a, I have seen in my country, actually I didn't say I'm from Pakistan, so from the north. But I stayed with that for a long time. So this 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 phenomena, this process, I I uh, watched by myself. And how we are leaving the, the plant is disappearing and moving to the high altitude. So this is uh, this is another of the NASA report in 2015 was the hottest year for the declare. And this is the history of the the hottest years. So it's, uh, it's alarming, alarming situation. So, so. Uh, there are some other things like, uh, uh, of course, uh, deforestations and uh, the, the tra traffic. A lot of cars we are using. Uh, in the starting slide that I will send to you, you can have the data. Actually. Every year, the car, the number of cars increasing. In but we need to shift to the hybrid or renewable cars. The Tesla, I think, is the company making hybrid car. But the price is very high. And you cannot buy it. Everybody cannot buy it. So, but the Japanese company are trying hard to, to, to make a cheap car. So anyway, this, this is one of the causes in industrial pollution. So then human activities like driving, manufacturing, electricity generation, and the cleaning of forests contribute to greenhouse gas emission and warm the planet. So it's another size cap region, which I show in many pictures. And one other problem is the population exclusion. Maybe in uh, some countries, the European, Japan, and the US, maybe they have good policy, family planning, for the control. But in Africa, and even my country, India, Sri Lanka, or some other countries, even China. So there is no good policy for the family planning to, to control the population to, to the natural course. But it is, in my opinion, it's, it's like so non-linear growth of the population, which is anything could be happening. After that, some other problems, nuclear disasters. I'll briefly talk about three majors. So this was in... Uh, Okay, let me talk from the three miles because historically it's in the sequence. In 1979, in a three miles island, of nuclear power united to the United States. There was some problem happens, uh, disaster or accident, but it was not so big and uh, you know, fortunately it could not damage to the civilian or the population and the other thing was safe. Um, in 1986, Chernobyl an accident this was the, the, the terrible accident in the history. So many people die, still people are uh, you know, dying from cancer or some other problems, thyroid and breathing problems. And uh, this is the, have you already visited Fukushima? No? Not yet. So this was the third. If I do the honest judgment, so this was the first very terrible one. This was the second. The US, this was luckily the, the I I like the, the planners or the politicians who decide the location. I think it's, uh, it's a quite safe place. So, but they, these guys uh, choose a very, you know, populated area, people living around. And so, it's, it's caused damage to the society, agriculture, and many, many things. So, okay. Okay, this is the climatic measurement, which I say by authentic source. So, this is very interesting. And, uh, this is the parts per million of the CO2. PPM, we call PPM. So in 1960, and uh, now this, we have some here, it's 400. 1960, 320 to 480, 80 
computer is not small. So this, this big change happens in a short span of time, I believe. It's not so. Just, I, I born in 1975, so, <laughs> so just 15 years before me, this, this, this big time. So, so this is very alarming situation. Uh, this is just the 2017 July. Four zero six point nine seven. Yeah, it's, it's, it's also terrible figures. Uh, uh, this is the uh, anyway you can see the global data. Is, uh, yeah, I'm just in this plot. The global change in air temperature last one thirty years later. So you can see the temperatures from if you consider. Let's say 1920s, minus 3 degree, right? And now it's 1 degree almost. <coughs> if you do 2020s, it's almost 1 degree. Same. 1 degree de one degree is not a small value for me. It's, it's, so we have to take it seriously. And, uh, and this is the another important data by NASA. Uh, I mean, just in this data, so so it's uh, what is the sea ice area is decreasing. So it is before it was. So this is called uh, chaotic behavior or abnormal behavior, which was no? the other curve is same to each other, but this is. This is divergence from the normal situation. This is a very, and this is another picture. So looking very beautiful, but it's, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now, in this situation, in this scenario, the United Nations people gather and they try to find some solution. What to do? So, all 150 head of the state and government attended the UN Sustainable Development Summit in the New York from 25 <coughs> And they agreed the uh, uh, transforming or in 2013 general for sustainable development. So it was good news. And they proposed 17 sustainable development goals. We call henceforth SDGs. SDGs. So they decided. It is expected that it will also positively affect the negotiation on a new, meaningful, and universal climatic agreement in Paris this summer of the conference of the parties of the member states or the member nations. But uh, but U.S. withdrawal from uh, COP this year is highly unfortunate. Sorry. <laughs> the Donald Trump the decision. As, as, uh, I don't want to go into politics, but being an environmental activist this is, is not good because we consider the United States as a leader. To, if the leader don't uh, present a good model to the rest of the world, then the thing will be there will be disaster. So, but I'm still hopeful that uh, maybe his term of government will be not so long, and some good guy will come <laughs> and, and we'll go to some. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we should not be disappointed. So this they they, they focus on these big areas. Uh, what are the elements uh, uh, underpinning the sustainable development goals? They say, of course, people. We we are the most important. We everything for us. You know, right? Everything the, the earth, the planet, and the, the all the universe is created for us. So we are the most important. End poverty and hunger in all forms and ensure dignity and equality in jobs, in life status, in everything we need equality. To provide equal opportunity to, to everyone, irrespective of gender, color, race, religion, and anything. So this is very important. And planet, protect our planets, which I talk to you. And I, I show you many <coughs> problems in the world, so we have to they, they consider. Partnership, implement the agenda through a solid global partnership to make a state-to-state -state relations, 
student exchange program, the government delegation for the renewable energy to go to another country and come back and they share idea and uh, find the solution and, uh, and share the knowledge. For example, if the Japan is very good in renewable, if the Japanese go to India or Sri Lanka and they share the knowledge and they, they promote the local industry which uh, they are making solar cell or wind turbine or anything, <coughs> it would be very nice. Okay. Peace. This is specifically I choose this. This is a very important area and uh, unfortunately the United Nations is, uh, in my opinion, until now has failed to, to bring uh, uh, equal justice across the world. The reason is uh, financial interest and some other reason. But in my opinion, um, I, I just give them to one good example to my students. To be a good, to be rich financially, if I want to be sound financially, there's a two way. To, be, to get illegal money is a one way. Another way to earn by myself in a dignified way, in a decent way. So, the first way. If I take illegal money, it means that I will take it from you guys and you people will be poor. And I will be richer. And there will be distance. And you will hate me. Even I have power and I have my security guard and I have every protection with you. Morally and on every bass, you will hate me. That's what a bad person is. And if you get a chance to get revenge, I think you will not miss it. So that's why the insecurity in, in, in peace the money is going to one place, one person, is not going to all. In another way, if, if I do hard work, if I'm a leader and I do hard work and uh, make you everybody good, so it means that this, this, this way is the most dignified way. Of course, we will, I will be having the same financial status like I can make by illegal way. But why not I choose this good way too? To, to, to make you everybody happy. So this is the, the peace and justice, this is the problem across the world. Before we have two blocks, Russia and America, and now it's unipolar wars and uh, some politics going. I'm no, I don't want to go in detail like religion, some people bring religion, but I don't think so religion is so. In my opinion, poverty, justice, social justice. Poverty and social justice and democratic institutions, strong democratic institutions are the, the, the primary key, the, the fundamental key to change the world. Not, not to exploit small state, poor state, or get money. And of course, you will be relieved for, for a very short time. But in the long run, you, you're causing damage to other parts, which is you're doing something against the nature. Nature always prefer uniformity, equilibrium. If I put water on this table, it will try to flow down. And it will continue, continue until the same level happens. So, so nature every time requires us to be to be balanced, to be uh, to, to distribute the money and uh, everything in a justified way. And the last one is the prosperity. Of course, if I'm rich and I have money and everything, but if I'm not happy. So this is a problem. So they, we have to make the people happy in the jobs, not to, to do discriminations or uh, racism or based on religious thing. No. So we just we have we, we, we have to make only one relation. We are human. That's all I think. We we have same eyes, two to eyes. That, that's the best relation. So rather than going to this uh, uh, racial things or religious. Okay. The world community are failed to establish fair and speedy justice system in the form of international court of justice. War economy and other economic interests based policies are spoiling to peace and justice system. These are the things which is, is, uh, the goals will uh, stimulate action over the next 15 years. So this is our responsibility to follow this really good. We have to support this idea and we have to improve it. So, these are the goals, uh, 17 goals. Poverty, hunger, good health and uh, well-being, quality education. And uh, let me go down. Just, um, 
this is the gender equality and clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, nursery, uh, innovation and uh, infrastructure, reduce inequalities, sustainable sustainability and uh, sustainable cities and communities. Uh, so responsible consumption and production. Climate actions. This slide is not so clear, I think. I would, in later I will send my PPT or you Or you can download on the United Nations website. They, they have them. <coughs> okay, and uh, climatic action. This we are talking about. This is the 13 goals of the United Nations. In life below water, so we have to take care of the marine life and environment, is also important. Life on land, deforestation and uh, population exclusion and, and uh, carbon emission, we have, to, we have to get rid of this. Peace and justice and strong institution. Yeah, this is a very good word. Strong institution. Anybody knows what is the meaning of strong institution? Feel free to answer. If anybody. Yeah, so especially in this sense, what they want to, from institution, what they want, what they mean, what they aim for. Yeah, partially. Yes, this is the most. The, the institution is the government, but the government is democratic government, democracy. They like elections, process, and the, the, any, anybody supporting some leader in a wrong way, in a sneaky way, or and uh, is it fair or uh, poor rigging or in the, the justice system, uh, the judiciary, ju judicial system, my courts is also one of the institute. So democratic institutions, judicial uh, institute or judiciary and uh, good governance, and uh, good financial management, all these things are institutions. So we have to make good, good uh, institutions. Uh, so partnerships for the goals, so sharing of knowledge with each member nations. <coughs> and it, it is a, it's a, in the local uh, meaning, uh, it means that university, industry people, government, communities, uh, to share their knowledge, uh, mechanical engineer, solar scientist, renewable energy scientist, and investors to sit together and what could be the best. Civil engineers, architectural engineers to make a smart buildings. So they, they have to share these, these kind of ideas with each other. So this is very important. <coughs> okay, so sustainability of renewable energy. I don't want to go, just this slide is important. Yeah. So this is the world oil reserves locations. Uh, Europe is two percent. This is the Asia Asian Pacific and four percent. Africa is seven percent. South America is also Brazil and also this. I mean, good. but it's not so. In the in 2030, the, the, uh, some some scientists believe that it's, it's going to be depleted. So, so we have to find now good ways, alternative ways to, 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 to face this challenge. And one of you, do you guys know the Hubbard Peak? It's uh, like the annual productions, the, the giga barrels per annum, like oil. So there's some peaks expected, which I say, in 2025. After that peaks, why? It's, I show you this slide. So this is the time in history and this is the production. It's going like this way, demand is here. And price. So this is, we don't know, it's non-linear. This curve is highly non-linear. Exponentially growing, so this is the, this is the, we have to think about it. And this data is the export of the, the oil and uh, Many many years experience in 
oil industry and the oil <coughs> business, they, they come up with this. And there's a few famous headlines about the liquid fuel prices and at the time. Uh, you can see the, the end of the oil age, the economist. <laughs> the, the, you, you can find and the, the date is given. And this is the time again, the clean energy net, and National Geographic also growing fuel. And so renewable, about renewable energy. A few years ago, they, it's not, it's uh, 2014 slides. So, okay, this is one of the good things to just to share with you. Around the world, investment in renewable energies outpacing investment in fossil fuels is, is now. It's the, the recent data. So investment in renewable energy is more than the fossil fuel. This is good thing. One big reason is that wind and solar technology are becoming cheaper to produce now. It's become more and cheaper and cheaper. In Dubai, uh, I, I was in uh, Germany uh, this year in the conference. So in Dubai, I don't remember the figures, but it's uh, almost the normal electricity rate which we uh, from solar. The solar was so cheap, so they, they one company off, so it means something started now. So, for the first time, investment in renewable energy in the developing world, in the developing countries, outpaced those in the developed world. Underdeveloped, this is very interesting thing. The, 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 the developing world outpaced those in the developed world. So, this is good news something we are going to balance the world in terms of energy. Uh, this is Germany. Yeah, Germany is the great country, I believe. They are doing great to, 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 to move to the renewable energy. Nuclear, if you see here, nuclear is 6.9% and renewable is 12.6%. So more than nuclear. This is great news for me. So we, if you people, I believe you're the...